All right, welcome back to my Let's Play uh, F0 Blind. F0 99 Blind, rather. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit this before the timer runs out. Uh, I'm assuming that when the timer runs out, that another timer is just going to start for, like, another track or something. I don't know. Uh, you know, I feel like we can stay in the gold, uh, the wild goose. I almost called it the gold goose again. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I'm being impeded at all by having this one. But the fire stingray felt like a large jump in difficulty of use of it or whatever. But I feel like this, like, I feel okay in this one. So we'll stick with this one. Okay, so is this, like, where the big boys play? Is this going to be, like, where the... Oh, those are like trophies. I wasn't looking at it very carefully. I thought that it was like a uh, like a ping indicator thing, but it's like trophies. Is that telling? Is that uh? Is that uh, saying how many times they've gotten first place? Like that, I'm pretty sure one guy had said 99 plus. Like Jesus, man. Okay, so they uh, so the ones that we were doing in the last couple episodes, those were like the basic bitch ones. And now these, like, special timed event ones are, like, the harder ones. Even though I'm pretty sure this one was in the Super Nintendo version. So maybe, uh, this one won't be... Uh, actually, wait, did we vote on this one? We did, because we could have done the White Land one. Plus, I wonder why those ones are timed. Well, I guess after this one, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens when the timer runs out, because the timer was just about to run out. You see me? I almost went off the track right there too. Oh man, this feels risky. If you hit someone in midair, you could bounce way the f off the track. You might have enough time to get back on the track, depending on how high you fly up. I don't know. They really should have kept the, uh, the re-energizing sound the same. Like, why would they change that? Oh, you want to do your twisty, spinny move. In mid air here, that way you can knock people off. Well, you cannot use your boost on this track very much. Oh, I couldn't even hit that one freaking guy. Like, is there a spot that I'd want to avoid on this track where I should use the uh, the thing? Oh, that was a good little spot to avoid. Oh man, look at that. I got a teeny tiny bit of green. Yeah, you know, this is pretty fun. But it is slow. Like, F-Zero... The premise of F-Zero is supposed to be, like, the blinding speed and whatnot. Like, they sold the game. Like, based on, like, how fast of a game it was. This is not very fast. Don't get me wrong, it's still fun, but it's, like... Like, the speed was, like, one of, like, the core... Like, uh... Like, gameplay, like, features of it. Was, like, how fast it was. But I'm guessing that's some sort of technical limitation. That's why they slowed down Mario 35, too. Uh, I got a thing. I got a badge. Cool. Grand Prix Night League. Oh, it costs three tickets to play this. 
Test your medal in the Ultimate 5 Re Series. Okay, so you have to spend your tickets to be in a Grand Prix. Well, I mean, I got 11, so sure, why not? Do you only get the tickets when you level up? Meaning that, uh... The tickets will become, like, harder and harder to come by. And eventually you're gonna be sucking fumes on them. Eventually you'll have to play for, like, 20 hours to get, like, one set of tickets. Okay, so this one filled up. So this is, uh... Oh, we're gonna do silence on this one. We haven't done silence yet. Um, so this is where, like, the real players are playing. Like, the regular F-099 one was, like, was, like, the baby version. And this is where, like, the real, the real, like, hardcore players play. Don Falcon. I'm guessing that seems like a CPU name. Okay, so I guess we're doing uh, Grand Prix in this one. If um, if you lose, do you just lose your tickets? It said top 20 or top 80 advance. So does that mean that you can sign up for five races and only get to play one? If you don't do well enough? Okay, so all these super good players were cutting through, so I'm guessing that cutting through is actually the right move. Oh, see, everyone is saving their thing. I don't know what they're saving it for. So there must be a spot where it's better to use it. How in the world am I in 22nd? I'm not that good at this game. Okay, there we go. I fell behind a bunch of places. 34th is more like it. Yeah, I just hit it because I bounced off the wall. I knew I was going to start going backwards. All right, 29th. Not bad, not bad. I don't know, man. I feel like 29th is, like, pretty good. Versus in, like, Tetris 99, it was way harder to get 29th. And I'm, like, better at Tetris than I am this game. Oh, so they get a few seconds. And then the race just ends. So maybe it just stops and whatever place you're in at that point is the uh, rank it gives you. Oh man, look at all the DQ'd people. That might be me in one of these. Yep, top 60 now. All right. I do actually like the little pauses little breaks in the action gives me a chance to like grab water because this this is the same uh play session like i've done this the third episode and i've been like doing this like all at once oh my god so like if you if you talk for like an hour like i've been talking for like an hour so it's like your voice kind of gets like kind of oh, i don't know it just gets to where you feel like you need like water you know Plus, I think I, I like, subconsciously, like, talk, like, a little bit, like, louder 
when I'm recording. Even though it's like, well, if my speaking volume isn't loud enough, I can just increase the volume in the editor. But there have been times where I talk for an hour in real life and my voice doesn't start to get that weird feeling. Maybe it's because uh, when I'm talking to someone else, I'm taking more like breaks while they talk. I'm not like, I'm not doing, I'm not the one doing all the talking, you know? So maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Oops. My God, how am I in 22nd, 23rd, 22nd? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Like I was expecting to be, to like struggle to get like top 50 on like all of these. But even doing like the big boy ones, I'm still hanging in there like decently well. I mean, there's always gonna be bigger fish, but I thought that I was gonna be like way out of my league since other people have had like a five month head start on playing this. Maybe it's because I have like some innate F-Zero like skill or whatever, since I have like played the game. It's possible that a lot of people that played this never played like the Super Nintendo version. So even though they had a five month head start, they were starting from like zero. Where I wasn't uh, starting from zero, but it also could be because, um, well, I was about to say, well, because it's like so slow, it, it feels like easier because of how slow it is. It's like, well, it's slow for everyone. So it should be equally easy for everyone. Okay, so I'm in 27th total, or overall, or whatever. I mean, one good race could put me at, like, 20th. Uh, Sand Ocean. I'm trying to think if we've, done the, if we've done this one. We did, like, a deserty one, but I don't remember if it was this one. I don't remember seeing that spiked, uh... That spiked shell thing in the background. But then again, I might have just not been looking. Okay, well, I don't remember that. With uh, with the crisscrossing situation. Okay, that's not a good corner to use that on, jeez. Oh, we did do this one. I remember that hairpin turn right there. I must have just not been looking at the background. I wonder if I should save the thing for the, uh... What the hell? I just got, like, pulled off to the side for some reason. I should save it for that hairpin turn. You probably get to take it, like, uh... Like, it's probably, like, more of a gentle curve. Uh, kinda. Yeah, see right there? It wanted to drop me off, but it's not gonna drop you off on a curve. So it had to wait till the curve ended. We were back on a straight part for it to drop me off. So I think this game does the same thing as the Bullet Bill in Mario Kart Wii, where it won't drop you off on a curve. Uh, well, I'm probably going to be okay on this one, but I might struggle on the next one. Okay, so don't use it on that curve. Can't use it there. 
my god, I turned too soon. I don't know if I'll be able to get top 20 next time. Like, I feel like my skill cap is, like, in the 20s. Maybe it just, uh, maybe it just depends on which, um, on which track we do. Oh man, we're playing with, uh, with A's and S's and whatnot? Jeez. I look at all these freaking high level people. That guy's only a tour, but I'm only at like five. Man, just imagine how long you'd have to play this to get to 92. Jesus, man. Plus, every time you go up a level, it takes more points to go up to the next level. Ah, uh, Deathwind. All right. I feel like the slowness of this game is even more pronounced in this one. Like, on this track. Because, like, the Deathwind tracks always felt, like, extra fast because it was just an oval. Man, I was, I was freaking scratching my face. That's why I just watched that boost like go past me. <laughs> my gosh, that snare drum is like annoying. The ba da da ba da da part should be louder. And the snare drum should either not be there or be quieter. You know, I think I do like this game. In terms of, um... In terms of, like, a 99 game. I think this game, like, they did a good job with this one. Mario 35 has its obvious flaws or whatever. Like, just, just like, fatal flaws that they should have fixed. They could have fixed it, too. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure it's, it's not too hard to do well in Mario 35 also. But I feel like this game, like, does a good job of, like... I, get, I mean, I guess it depends on how good the other people are. But I think, I think like, they understand that, like, people are not going to want to play if they're just getting blown out all the time. But I feel like, despite there being lots of people that are better than me, I still feel like I'm not, like, getting, like, blown out. Like, I, I, don't, like, I don't feel like I'm, like, like, in over my head where I shouldn't even, like, be playing with these guys, you know? Oh man, I barely qualified, by the way. Wow, I gained that teeny tiny amount towards a C. Towards my rank or whatever. I can only imagine how long it must take to, uh... To get to a freaking S. And I'm pretty sure in Mario Maker 2... Uh, versus mode, you can actually get, like... You can go, like, down ranks, I think. Oh, rank higher than your rivals. Oh, so it puts, okay, so it puts your rivals at people that are close to your skill range, and then it rewards you for, like, ranking higher than them. I'm not sure if, oh, no uh, starting thing for this one, because there's only 20 of us. So I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure if that's the only factor, or if you get a little bit of increase and then you just get extra increase for doing better than your rivals Yeah, 
Yeah, these square turns, you gotta be careful. You can get ping pong around and bounce backwards and stuff if you're not careful. Man, I'd have gotten the golden thing even once. Oh, they make the gold guy take the long route just to give you a reason to go around to go the uh, the long way. It is kind of funny how they they like gave you a reason to actually go that way. In the Super Nintendo version, there's like no reason to go that way, to go the long way. I mean, they put mines in the other one, but like on the other path. But the path is so much shorter that it's like totally like not worth it to go the long way. And how the hell am I in 13th? I was like barely scraping by to get into this race. So I thought I was going to be in like last place like the whole time. Oh, we're done already. I thought we had one more lap. Apparently not. All right, 14th. 14th out of 99. I consider that pretty damn freaking good. Okay, so what was my overall rank? Probably probably in the 20s, since this is the only one that I got like above 20th or whatever. Uh, show pilot card. Uh, okay, that's my pilot card. Cool. Oh, wait, is that 16th total? I guess it, uh, even though I didn't get above 20 or whatever in any of the races except that last one, it, it also, like, depends on how well or not the other people do, too. So I got 16th total out of, uh, out of 99. That's pretty effing good. Pretty effing good, if I do say so myself. All right, those are the champions. Oh man, I gained some levels. So you get like hella levels for doing that. Finish a race without hitting any barriers, okay. Uh, be the last pilot to qualify with a safe rank. Oh, yeah. I got 20th. Oh, I got a new decal. I can be super ugly now. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. This one doesn't cost any tickets. Wait, maybe it'll say tickets when I click on it? No? No? Oh, this is, uh, like, traditional, where you get one boost per lap. Spin attack and Skyway are not available in this mode. Classic race mode. Okay. Oh, by the way, when I clicked on it, it would not let me go back. I could only go forward. It would not let me, like, back out. Uh, let's do White Land. We haven't done White Land yet. All right, shoo. Now, it says White Land 2. Or White Land 1, rather, derp. So is that implying that White Land 2 is also available, or is it just saying White Land 1 because that's the one that this is? White Land 2 might not even be available. Well, actually, there might be more of those, like, Grand Prixes. Like, there's probably other Grand Prixes with, uh with other tracks or whatever. And this feels like an actual, this feels like the actual track. My God, why am I, like that jump was giving me like no height. This is like the, uh, this is like classic or whatever. The track is the same width as in the Super Nintendo version, I think. Also, the, um, 
the controls feel a little bit slickery. Was that in the Super Nintendo version? I don't 100% remember. Obviously, this snowy part or whatever, this icy part is really slippery. My god, you get no freaking height. That's because this is almost as heavy as a of a vehicle as the Fire Stingray. So I wonder if like certain modes uh, affect the uh, like the weight physics or whatever. Um, I wonder why they put the S's in the upper right corner instead of the bottom right. I just looked in the bottom right to be like, how many S's do I have? Oh wait, it's not even down there. Oh, there we go. God damn it. Oh, well, got my first crash. Well, at least the stakes like, weren't very high. Oh, balls. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's try that again. Okay, so it's saying 500. I'll have to look to see. See, that's not my rank. That's just points towards getting another ticket. That might be 500, like, static or whatever. That might be 500 every time. Okay, well, let's try that again. Oh, I still gotta level up, though. Oh, okay, so if they're smoking, then if you hit them, then they'll blow up. Okay. Okay, well, apparently there's only four uh, humans. Only got four humans in this one. Oh, I thought, for a second, I thought it said Diddler. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's hardly anyone playing this one, apparently. But it's like, well, it, like, cycles out. So I didn't have a choice to play this one. So all the people, like, all 99 people that were playing that Grand Prix... Did they just decide to not play this mode? Are they just playing the regular mode until uh, until the timer runs out and gr another Grand Prix unlocks? I couldn't imagine just like sitting here and like playing, waiting for a, a timer to go out to like run out or whatever, so you can play the mode you want. Uh, so what exactly happened that caused me to go off the thing? Did I use a boost? on a jump and hit someone right as I hit the jump or something? Not entirely sure. No! Oh, I should have used a boost to get out of that, uh... to get out of that, uh, snow situation. Oh man, I'm sucking balls. Try to suck a few less balls, please. Oh my god. Well, you have to hit the boostesses. Otherwise, you lose, like, all your freaking speed going across that snowy part or whatever. My god, almost everyone's crashed out. Oh, I forgot that there's mostly computers. Wow. It's showing the rival rankings. Like, I even have time to look on the left side of the screen. Yeah, you want to save your boost for uh, for this part. Alright, well, I got seventh, but how many humans did I beat? If I didn't beat any humans, then I'm going to consider that last place. But I think the game wants it to be like, um, what do you call it? Like, ambivalent, like on purpose. Yeah, 
Yeah, look, it looks like Diddler 24, but it's, that's an I. Okay, so it does stay at 500 every time. Okay, fair enough. So maybe everybody is, um... Maybe everyone's playing the regular uh, F099 to build up tickets or something. Actually, let's wait for this timer to run out. Let's see what the next mode is. Actually, we'll do that in the next episode, since we're at another episode. So, so I guess we'll outro here, and we'll start the next one with doing this um, this other special event or whatever. So that's going to conclude this episode. Thanks, as always, for watching. Yeah, I don't know how long, like I said, I don't know how long we're going to play this for. But, I, like I said, I just, I don't know, I just want to play it for a while. And then once I do these episodes, I'm probably not going to come back and do more episodes of it. So I kind of want to get, it, like, all the playing of this that I want to do. Uh, I kind of want to, like, do it all. Like, in this, uh, like, play session or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like button before you go, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.